Hey Miles. Hey Stanley. Hey Cody. Today I want to talk to you about something really, really important. You know, sometimes people go through traumatic experiences in life. Something really bad happens that they witness or they know about or they've been part of. And there's a few things that I think it's really important that people know when they take care of themselves after something like that's happened. Do you know some of those things? One is to get a lot of rest. One is to drink plenty of water. You know, it's really, really important after something traumatic to drink a lot of water because water actually helps get those chemicals out of your body that can give you a stomach upset and things like that that are flowing all over your body for the first three days after something really difficult. So it's important to get some exercise. And I know that after some tough things, sometimes it's hard to get yourself to move, but moving, getting exercise can be really, really important. Avoiding caffeine. And I know how much I love caffeine, but a lot of people do too. But you have to be careful with all the caffeine because sometimes that can also interfere with your sleep. Avoiding alcohol and drugs is also really, really important after a traumatic experience because, again, that can interfere with your feelings. It can make you more depressed. It can interfere with your sleep. Setting your priorities is important and structuring your time. Sometimes after something traumatic, or we feel like our world has fallen apart or shaken us up so much that what we need is routine and we need to feel a little bit of consistency in our life. You don't want to make any big changes in your life right after a trauma because also that adds to the stress. Try to put off making big decisions. Try to avoid that as much as possible. You're going to have some recurring thoughts and images in your mind. That's normal. You don't have to worry about that. That means that there's something wrong. That's absolutely normal. Give yourself permission to feel bad, to feel sad, to feel scared. That's all normal. And it actually helps to let yourself process those feelings. Take some time to do the things that you enjoy doing. Spend some time doing pleasant things for a little bit of time. Talk to people that you trust, your family, co-workers, friends. Do not be afraid to reach out. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Don't think that you're crazy after you've gone through something really difficult to deal with. Remind yourself that you're having normal reactions. Write down what you're thinking or feeling. Writing can be really, really helpful. And again, asking for help. Turn to your church, your temple, your family, your friends, or any other supportive resources that you have. After a trauma, it's really important to get help.